Road to GH will reveal Lulu waking up from a prolonged coma, surprising and moving her family and friends. However, the joy of reunion quickly gives way to haunting memories and unease as visions of the floating rib explosion return. Vague images of the chaos and overwhelming pain torment Lulu, leaving her restless. She knows exactly who is behind the tragedy, Cyrus, the sworn enemy of the Spencer family, and the one responsible for her suffering. Determined not to let him go unpunished, Lulu begins plotting to expose all his crimes. Lulu turns to Maxie, her closest friend, for help. Initially hesitant, Maxie, after everything she has endured, doesn't want to put herself or her loved ones in danger again. Yet, listening to Lulu's suspicions and her helplessness in waking up to a changed world, Maxie cannot refuse. Their enduring friendship, having weathered countless challenges, becomes a source of strength. Maxie agrees to help Lulu, and the two set out to investigate and gather evidence against Cyrus. Lulu doesn't rely on Maxie alone, she also calls her brother Lucky for support. Lucky immediately returns to Port Charles upon hearing of his sister's awakening. Driven by a strong resolve to make up for past mistakes, he is eager to help Lulu execute her plan. Lucky provides vital information he has gathered from his old contacts in law enforcement, which they use to trace Cyrus's activities. With Lucky's involvement, the tightly knit group of friends once again unites, ready to face danger together. Their plan is far from easy. During the investigation, Maxie, with Spinelli's support, manages to hack into the computer systems of one of Cyrus's closest associates. This leads them to uncover shady transactions involving Digitalis, a powerful piece of evidence linking Cyrus to Sam's case. Meanwhile, Lucky and Lulu follow clues about Cyrus's secret meetings. On one risky occasion, they narrowly avoid being discovered and secure a recording of Cyrus threatening a subordinate, referencing the floating rib explosion and other dark schemes. These pieces of evidence gradually build a clear picture of his ruthless nature. Lulu decides to take a daring approach by infiltrating Cyrus's circle and earning his trust. She pretends to harbor resentment towards Sam, claiming to feel overshadowed and constantly living in the shadow of the person who saved her life. With her convincing performance, Lulu persuades Cyrus that she could be a potential ally. Cyrus begins to trust her, sharing secrets during private meetings, where he inadvertently reveals key details about his crimes, including his involvement in the floating rib explosion and his framing of Sam. While pretending to collaborate with Cyrus, Lulu secretly records their conversations and collects evidence with Maxie and Lucky's help. She carefully conceals Cyrus's suspicions by maintaining her facade, even misleading him when necessary. Once they gather sufficient incriminating evidence, Lulu, Maxie, and Lucky work together to bring everything to the authorities, leading to Cyrus's arrest and his confrontation with justice. However, Cyrus is not an easy adversary. Realizing he is under investigation, he moves to counteract Lulu's group. One night, Maxie is followed and nearly kidnapped by Cyrus's henchmen, but Spinelli arrives just in time to save her. This incident makes Lulu and her companions realize they cannot fight alone. Lulu seeks out Dante, her former lover and the father of her son. Despite the emotional turmoil of seeing Lulu again, Dante cannot refuse her plea for help. As a police officer, Dante uses his authority to protect Lulu and her group while ensuring the evidence they have collected reaches the court. The confrontation with Cyrus reaches its climax when Lulu, Maxie, Lucky, and Dante present their evidence in a public hearing. Faced with irrefutable data, Cyrus is forced to admit some truths, but attempts to escape. In a dramatic chase, he is apprehended on the spot by Dante and Lucky, marking the end of his reign of terror in Port Charles. As the dust settles, Lulu feels a sense of relief and peace, knowing that justice has been served. She looks at Maxie with deep gratitude for standing by her through the perilous journey. Their friendship, tested by time and distance, emerges stronger than ever. Lucky finds solace in helping his sister and redeeming a part of his past mistakes. As for Dante, while their relationship remains complex, both acknowledge that they remain vital parts of each other's lives. Port Charles returns to peace, at least for now. But Lulu knows that with people like Cyrus, danger can arise at any moment. 
Even so, she no longer fears. She has learned that with family and friends by her side, nothing is impossible.